A man who knows firsthand the impact of gun violence is now using that knowledge to help others. Tommy McBrayer started Don't Shoot Guns, Shoot Hoops. The goal of his nonprofit is somewhat self explanatory, but as WCCO Jennifer Merrily found in our latest Cost of Gunfire series, is basketball is just one part of what these young men are learning. Let's do it together. Hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work. This is where they come together All right, ready? on the court. Let's go, right? Teenagers from around the metro, different backgrounds with more than basketball in common. Baller. Tommy McBrayer brought them together. Man, the goal is like to prevent gun violence in uh, one, city, one community at a time. Line it up, purple. He knows from experience. I was selling weed just to pay my rent and had a drug deal go bad. I ended up tied up, shot left for dead in the hallway of a duplex at 20 years old. And right there, that was the first time that I, uh, it was a wake up call. You know, either you want to go down that route still or you want to change your life. He survived and says he straightened out his life. Still, 10 years later, he was shot again, this time by someone he considered family. Conversation going the wrong way, and I ended up getting shot two times in my stomach uh, just in July of 2019. He worked on his own healing, physical, mental, and emotional, and fully looked at the community around him. Seeing a lot of my friends die from gun violence, uh, go to jail from gun violence, just feel like I need to do something about it. All right. He took his shot. Okay, and then the next person. And started Don't Shoot Guns, Shoot Hoops. Get it up there, get it up there, get it up there. There's too many people just shying away from the issue. You know, they're not being bold about saying stop gun violence. So I want to be bold. I want to be bold. There's no hidden agenda. Purple team, green team. The nonprofit reaches out to schools to find students who can benefit from being part of the program. Some have experienced the cost of gunfire in their own lives. I came to this program because, like, I lost my brother to keep my mind off of that the situation. John Tavian's brother, John Tay Hudson, was gunned down at Mall of America in 2022. He says being here helps with the pain. I can interact with more people, talk about things, and then just have fun at the camp. Terrence Heron calls basketball his outlet. It's kind of like therapy, almost. He says he's learning from the coaches after also losing his brother to gun violence. It's like they came back from from crazy situations that I wouldn't think would be possible, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, getting shot, you know, losing family members and, like, not retaliating. And the fact that they pushed that aside and leveled up themselves from that situation, it's really, like, inspiring. McBrayer says the goal is to lead with love. Woo! That was nice! To help these young men make positive choices for better outcomes. Just staying busy, just not, like, indulging in gun violence in general. Just making sure I'm just doing something with my life in general. Good work, Purple. Good work. While intertwining messages of nonviolence, discipline, compassion, and work ethic into the game. You become a better leader, then you're a better leader in the household. You're a better leader with your friends. You're a better leader in the school. If you get a job, you're a better leader at the, at the, job, at the workplace. So that's where we're trying to install just leadership qualities that they probably didn't think they had in them. Boys and men on three, family on six. One, two, three. Boys and men. Four, five, six. Family. Go, baby. With photojournalist Grant Verdon, Jennifer Merrily, WCCO Investigates. This camp came at no charge to the students. Most of the funding comes from the state Office of Justice programs. They also host midnight basketball some Fridays, and we have details on WCCO.com.